I finally got my hands on Emerald Rapids. That's an Intel Xeon Silver 4500N10 CPU. I bought it myself from my own money, so this video is not sponsored. And um, it is compatible to the Intel Xeon Gen 4 generation, which is here inside. So um, this CPU has 12 cores, 24 threads. It has a base frequency of 2.4 GHz and a turbo frequency of 4.1 GHz. And um, I will now swap my engineering sample with this um, new CPU and then I will do a few benchmarks how fast Intel Xable Gen 5 is. Yeah, um, I made some BIOS update and then it should fit in uh, the old mainboard inside. So it's also LGA4677. It should be a little bit faster in AI work, so the advanced matrix extensions are a little bit faster. Um, also, it's more energy efficient. This is my cooler, this is the old CPU, this is the new CPU, and um, this is the low core count, so I need another bracket. Now the new CPU is attached, and now I will attach this into the computer. Let's turn it on. And the computer is starting, that's great. The computer started two times and I have a BIOS, that means everything is perfect, everything will work. Uh, I'm really happy. Now let's do the Passmark CPU performance test. And we get a score of 32,000 and a single score of 2,740. Um, if I don't record it with OBS Studio, I get here about 2,800. Which is okay, it's not really great for a 12 core CPU, but it's really okay um, if you keep in mind that the clock is only 2.4 and the boost 4.1. So for this it's really okay. And now Cinebench. We get a score about 19,155 and maybe I also should um, do the single score CPU performance. I will just press another button and skip it because it will take so long and yeah. And the single score is 1,278 which is really okay for this frequency. Also what's really interesting, uh, if you look at the ratio between one core and all cores, and it is 14.99. And we have 12 cores, so um, in the best case you would think uh, 12 cores are 12 times faster than one core, um, but it has multi-threading, so it seems like uh, the number of 12 should be given by the um, by more cores, and then the 2.99, my guess would be multi-threading. It's really good. There are other CPUs, like one thread per 2,990. It has 32 cores, but it's not 32 times faster if it's using all cores. So it seems like um, multi-threading is really good implemented. And um, yeah, um, the, the CPU is really able to utilize all cores. Uh, here's a little bit more data about the CPU. 
So we have 30 megabytes of L3 cache, 12 times 2, so 24 megabytes of L2 cache. Those are the instructions. Here we see, this is for me important, advanced matrix extensions. So it has tensor cores, um, yeah, 150 watts of uh, a TDP of 150 watts. Sapphire Rapids is the code name and it has a turbo boost of 4100 and a base clock of 2400. One last thing, let's do some local inference. At first, for comparison, we use the RTX 4090. And we have about 65, 67 tokens per second. And now let's do the same with um, the CPU. And we have about 14 tokens per second. So this is a Mistral Instruct 7 billion Q4. So this model is not too big. I think it's about 4 gigabytes, but I have to check it. Um, model parameters, maybe? No. Um, yeah, 4.7 gigabyte, 4.07 gigabyte, um, but 14 versus 67, I think that's um, really pretty good for the CPU. So you can really do fast machine learning inference with the CPU. And also what's cool, um, of course it's faster to load the model in the memory than in the GPU memory. So um, if it's like hot loading the model, the hot loading is even faster than of the GPU.